Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to show you how to improve uh, import auto-completion in Visual Studio Code. What I have here is a um, plain vanilla JavaScript uh, project. What I just did, I just copied the lit HTML um, dependency, third-party dependency to, um, to uh, present you the problem and solution. And this is my app.js, and what I would like to do is to create a small hello component which extends an HTML element. And what I would like to do here is to have a method called view, and this method will just use the um, HTML uh, function with a hello. So uh, let's do this, is h2 hello. So now we have it, and I would like to import this method. So if I will do this, you will see that it actually imports lit HTML without the JS. And the problem is the default setting in Visual Studio Code. So if I go to uh, Code, uh, Preferences, Settings, and what I have to, to search for is the, uh, Import Module, Import Module Settings, and you see here Import Module Specifier Settings, this is the Auto, and what I can um, switch between Auto and JS. So because I only use vanilla JS in my projects right now, I would like to switch to JS. So after saving, I will just to repeat that. So I'll just do it again. And uh, just let's auto import this again. And as you can see, it imports it correctly with um, lit-html.js. So it always will add the JS ending. So your ES6 module will uh, run correctly uh, in a browser without any transpiling. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, AHEX.io, AHEX Live uh, virtual workshops, or even projects. So thank you and bye.